Good morning, everyone. Sister Candice, growing in grace. I hope that you had a good night's rest. I hope everyone has had a had a blessed New Year's Day. Uh, I, I pray that we have a blessed 2024, that we have a better year than we did in 2023, and that we grow closer to the Lord. That is my prayer, and that we grow in our prayer life. Um, my devotional today comes from Ezekiel, and I'm going to just say this, that I'm not going to try to read it because I would just butcher the names that is in this Ezekiel. But it's from Ezekiel 8, 7 through 9. And it's entitled, God Knows Our Sorrow. Frank Graff spent much of his life as a pastor working with children and teens. He was known for his cheerful outlook on life. One friend described him as a spiritual optimistic. A great friend of children, his bright, sunshiny disposition attracted him not only to children, but all whom he come in contact with. But Graff suffered from frequent serious illness that limited him to the work of God. One day, in despair, he turned the pages of the scripture for comfort and was greatly encouraged by 1 Peter 5, 7, which is a very familiar verse to those of us that know the Lord. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Not long after Graf penned the words we now sing, Does Jesus care when my heart is pained too deeply for myrrh or song? As burdens press and his cares distress, the way grows weary and long. Oh, yes, he cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary and the nights are dreary, I know my Savior cares. God is not oblivious to our pain and suffering. He knows our sorrows and is in the fullness of his time and his plan. He brings comfort. God has never abandoned or forsaken his children. We should never doubt that God cares about what brings pain and suffering into our lives. Amen. Our growth principle is the heart of God is touched when his children suffer and he always cares for our needs. Genesis 4 through 6 and Matthew 2. You know, as I read over this before I started to record, I thought to myself, God cares. God cares more than anybody in your life could care for you. Um, our pain and suffering is to draw us closer to the Lord, and it's also to to grow us stronger in our walk with Him. And nothing catches God by surprise, and nothing happens in our life that God don't allow. Um, you know, grief is hard. Uh, anxiety, depression, panic attacks. It's hard. Um, but, you know, on my hardest day, I can still say God is faithful and God is good. He'll always be faithful. He'll always be good. Um, and like I say, nothing catches God by surprise. He knows the path that our life is going to take. He knows the the suffering and the pain that he's going to allow to come into our life, to draw us closer to him, to make us stronger. You know, I mentioned to y'all 2023, I believe I got stronger in 2023 than I have the whole five years the pastor's been gone and our son and my in-laws. Um, God is faithful, and sometimes I do question and I wonder why, but that's human. We're human, and God knows we're going to question and wonder why, because in our grief, we can't understand why God allows things, but we just have to keep singing of the goodness of God. And keep on praising Him. And keep on living for Him. And letting our light shine 
in 2024. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. But the Lord loves you so, so much more.